All right, quick how-to video on how to get Apple CarPlay on your Mustang if you got a 2015 to 2017 Mustang or any four, I think. But the main thing is that nobody uses the navigation on here. Like, it's nice to have the map or whatever, but nobody actually goes in here and types in the address that they're going to. Like, it's 2021. We use our phone. So with Apple CarPlay, as you know, you're able to just type in your address on here plug it into the USB and then the directions will pop up on your screen. But our cars didn't come with Apple CarPlay. You have to upgrade it and you have to change this USB hub. And that's what I bought here. I bought this USB adapter. It's a four part. It's the HU5Z19A, something like that, whatever. And then you just swap this out. You just take this out, plug this in, and then you should have Apple CarPlay, but you have to make sure that the Sync 3 is upgraded to the, the newest version. You have to make sure that you're on the latest version of the Sync. Let's see. Yeah, version 3.0 of Sync 3. If it's not upgraded to that, the Apple CarPlay won't work. I haven't tested this out, so I'm hoping I'm saying the right stuff, but we'll see. But that's what I've been researching. You need to upgrade the pub, and then it has two ports for this USB adapter and this USB adapter. And then you plug it in to the support, and then you'll be able to get Apple CarPlay using your USB by plugging it into right here or right here. So right now, when I plug in my USB, all it does is show that a device is connected so I plug in the USB plug it into my phone and then you will see it just pops up Bruce City Joe's line detected it doesn't switch to Apple CarPlay or nothing like that so once we finish this installation it should switch to Apple CarPlay I hope if I'm wrong I'll figure it out so what you want to do is pry this off right here I'm gonna turn off the car completely and you want to get behind this little piece right here and it'll pop off this whole thing just get something to pry it off and then this is what you're gonna replace so you're gonna pry off this whole thing replace this with our new part so that was pretty simple just pop this bad boy off and then unplug all three of these. That's one. So what you have to do to get this part out is push this tab and these two tabs at the same time and then push it through. Luckily, I got my lovely wife behind the camera and she was able to help me swap those out. So let's put the old one out the way. Put this new one in. Just plug it straight in, same way. The front side, or the top I should say, has the one. The bottom has two. Plug that in. All right, so we're gonna plug this back. The black is closer to the passenger seat. The gray is closer to the driver's seat. And then we'll plug our remote wire back into the top. And then we can test it out. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Boom, we got action. Apple CarPlay, agree. Finish setting up Apple CarPlay. Allow. And there we are, we upgraded. I need some gas in my car, but that's about it. We all upgraded. And that's pretty much it, that's the how-to. You see I'm excited, I'm happy because I wasn't sure if that was my work or not, but it did, so thumbs up this video. I appreciate you for recording, and we are done.
All right, let's actually just show how to put this back in. This is simple. You just push this back, and it just pops back in place. That's really it. It's like nothing ever changed. The exact same way it was before. Except now, we have Apple CarPlay. That's lit. Look at my life and look at yours. Get some ambition while you bored. Yeah. Yeah, bounce back, got that bounce back Yeah, we got that bounce, retract Gotta find my mind, homie, where you at? 